songs all evening long. So she come be and tip the bartender and here we go.
then you We 
So a lot of these songs are part of a larger narrative and don't make sense when we're moving to this narrative. So I'm kind of just hoping that the vibe is still there, <laughs> even if you can't follow along with the very obviously descriptive lyrics. Uh, this one is about what it's like when someone sacrifices themselves for you. And then you have to deal with the consequences of that. Perhaps it's emotional. <laughs> they came in the dead of night. They done too many hours before. No one there would come back to me to make me knocking on the door. We've come for the road, so they shouted from the street. Thank you. 
shows up and it, it's not a trauma event or anything it's just like okay I don't know why you're here cool hi <laughs> and sometimes I'm like man I'm really thinking a lot about my day today <laughs> so anyway um, it's just a wonderful thing to do and I encourage it if you're on the fence just tip on over to the meditation side um, this song is also about I think like the more I've meditated, the more I've realized how connected I am to everything. And that there is no bad or good or right or wrong or whatever. Um, we're, we all just are. And uh, so everything, <laughs> everything is like operating frequency, right? Even our thoughts. And I think that sometimes, maybe like when we're holding on to something, like really like clinging on to a person or an idea or a place or a hope or a dream, like we have attachments as we do, that perhaps we're like haunting that thing or that person. And so this song's about meditation and also a little bit of that. <laughs> being a ghost while being alive. <laughs> Also, it's my newest, newest, newest song, and um, I actually don't really have it dialed in yet. <laughs> but it, I really wanted to sing it tonight, so 
But the message comes through, how the message comes through, and I am a channel. I show up. So this next song uh, started off, or it's influenced by a poem that I wrote, and the poem uh, went something like this. Uh, I like my men like I like my houses. Haunted Victorian craftsmen and in an extreme state of disrepair. <laughs> and I was like, that could be a good song. So uh, I started writing this song and I would write it like he was a haunted house, he was this, he was that. And it just like didn't work. I was kind of like hitting this wall. And like something was like, how about I? I was a haunted house. And then the song was like, well, there you go. <laughs> like, okay, cool. So. Thank you. 
about the most uncomfortable feeling that I have, which is every spring, I want to get out of my skin. And it's not, it's not anxiety, but it's similar. And it's not depression. I don't want to die. I don't want to live another life. I just want to get out of my skin. And I can't. And it's like magic. And I like one year I discovered that if I watched tarantula molting, it was like so cathartic. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know uh, where, where it comes from, where it goes. I know if I have a trip or a tour or something planned in the spring, that makes it a lot easier to deal with. But anyway, it's maddening and it stays with me for a couple of months every spring. So if you ever see me like the end of March, and I'm like, uh, that's fine. I'm like, where, why won't it go away? <laughs> I need new skin. Please. So this will be about that. I want to tear up my skin. We Thank you. 
songs. The thing about Eastern European folk music is that it's really, really hard to play. <laughs> so but it's, it's so gorgeous. Um, so I tried to write a song using like scales and uh, rhythms from that kind of music, and it turns out it's the hardest song that I have. <laughs> cool. I guess I'll just start Oh, 
But you know what? If you come flirt with me a little bit, I'll give you all kinds of shit to bring. So, because I've had it for years and I just want it to go away and I want you to love it and like, I don't need the money. Uh, okay. Oh, also, <laughs> there's a tip jar back there that we can pass around at some point. Uh, John, <clears throat> it's right behind you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, throw money in there for Robin and I. And, uh, We'll take it home. What else? My dear friend and I are about to move into a house together. Yeah. And one of the things we want to do is have house shows and craft nights and other things, uh, creating a community. And if you would like to be invited to those things, get on my email list. And there's a little clipboard thing there and you will get notified when we're having those events because it's in our home and so i hesitate to make those events public so if you want to come to them consider yourself not public <laughs> and uh get on the mailing list and we'll tell you about it when you're happening okay that was my spiel also my venmo code is on the um Tip jar. So if you don't have cash, whatever we get in Venmo um, for tips, we'll split evenly between us. Okay, music time. Uh, this song I wrote about my relationship with the ocean, um, as it exists from shore, because I've never actually been. I've been on a ferry, but I haven't been like, sailing or like, on a fishing boat or anything like that. And how, if, if I have anything like going on that I'm holding back, some kind of emotion, whether it's grief or sadness or something, I go to the beach and I stare at that ocean and it's like, like ha 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 ha, you're mine. <laughs> you are going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, years ago, I was on tour, um, and uh, right before tour had started, I found out that one of my exes had killed himself, and I took a couple days to be alone and do that, and then um, got on my tour, and then somewhere about a month in, we were staying at Montoya de Oro uh, State Park in California. And I don't know if you've ever been there. It's really beautiful. Um, they have some beach there, but also these like cliffs that kind of come out, like way out into the water. And it's safe if you can climb rocks. And you go up there, and I'm not a rock climber, so not like that wall rock climbing kind of rock climbing. Um, anyway, <laughs> you can go out there, and you're out there far enough that like the, the waves are like coming up. Like, so you're like in it. And it's like really intense and really beautiful and really cool. And we all went out there and we're climbing around on the rocks. And the ocean's like, oh, I got you. And I just started, like, I was a mess. Like, just a pile of very sobbing on this big rock amongst the waves. And nobody could hear me because it's. And like waves are all crashing around and it was really loud. And nobody bothered me. They were, I was like, oh, are they going to come tell me to stop? Because I can't stop. But what happens after that is that it's like I've been washed clean of things that I was holding on to and clinging on to and become new in some way. So this song is about that. It's called Baptism. Hit those. With relentless 
switch to you for Lady. And uh, yeah. Great. It feels really good. Sorry. You know, scream. It feels really good. 
And I'll tell you when it's coming. So you can Thank you. 
very much for the I'm going to keep it. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Oh my goodness, it does match the dress. It matches the dress and also sort of these lights over here. Isn't that amazing? We totally coordinate. All right, since you guys chose the aggressive first, we're going into a mellow territory all of a sudden. <laughs>
Thank you. 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 Music person for Runs and Sleeping Giants, which is a local band that I put together, uh, revolving around fantasy, folk tales, story songs. Um, yeah, you can find me on Instagram, Runs and Sleeping Giants, or just like any streaming service that you can that email. Um, and thank you guys for listening. <laughs> Okay. I I don't know which I'm gonna do two more songs. I'm not sure which one. So I'll let you know, you know that. Not which one goes first. But which of the which of the never mind. Okay, so <laughs> I have an angry song, but it's pretty, but also angry. Very angry. <laughs> and then I have a love song. So, love song? I did my angry one first. Angry? Yeah. I choose violence. I choose violence. Okay. The angry song is. I was, when I was, I don't know, I was thinking about anger and how it gets a real bad rep in our. Society, I guess. Um, like we're not supposed to feel angry or ex uh, express anger because it's violence or whatever perceived as bad, and um, it's actually not. But like unchecked anger can be a problem. But like so can unchecked joy. So. <laughs> Uh, anyway, <laughs> so I, 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 for a long time, anger was the only feeling I really let myself feel. And it was, um, it's, uh, it's, especially if something was wrong. If I was actually sad or grieving or something, it was just like anger. I'd just be angry. And um, when I was growing up, I learned that, or I figured out <laughs> that if I, have my express my unchecked anger, I would maybe not be heard, but I could at least get everyone in the room to shut the fuck up. <laughs> but my mom's laughing. She knows I used to throw stuff and break like punch holes in walls and then I yeah, anyway. I don't think Ben my brother, one of my little brothers is here too. I don't know if you ever really got the brown of any Sterling did for sure. That's the oldest brother. Um, anyway, years later I learned uh, that like, oh, if, I, if I'm angry, that actually means I'm not letting myself feel something. So what is that thing that I'm not feeling? And a friend of mine was like, write it down. Just start writing. If you're angry, just start writing. And so I, I, I learned that, so I learned that that's something I could do and get to what's actually going on. Like, oh, I'm actually really sad. <laughs> oh. Maybe I'll cry. Cool. Um, so I think that like I think that anger can be can blaze the trail that grief or sorrow might not be able to. And we can start off angry and then like it will tear down the blackberry bushes for the vines. Whereas if I just was in sorrow, I'd just let it take me, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, I grow me. Whatever, I don't care. But the anger is like, no, I need a way through. Fuck this. Oh, okay, I can cry. That's my process. Anyway, this song is angry. <laughs> it's also really pretty, I think. And um, I wrote it about something that I felt. Where... Maybe I, I should have been taken care of or seen in a way by one by someone who is supposed to protect me. 
And after playing it many times and crying through it, I realized that the person I was angry with did things that I had also done when I was supposed to be with them. And the beauty of this is, is that one doesn't negate the other. Because I think a lot of times we'll be like, oh, I'm mad at this person, and you realize like you've done the same shit, so maybe you shouldn't be so mad at them. But actually, you are allowed to be mad at them, and you're allowed to be mad at yourself, and like all of it can exist at the same fucking time. And if you let yourself feel it all, then you can move the fuck on, you know? So anyway, here's my angry song. <laughs> Thank you. 
Tinkerbell, and you just see the like dust of light behind her. Like that was me. And I have no idea how long we were in this meditation. Uh, you know, time isn't actually linear, so I, I really don't know. It could have been five minutes. It could have been one minute. But I know when they brought us back, I felt like I weighed a ton. I was like, oh shit, I, I, I weighed. Um, I have this body, <laughs> this is flesh and bone bullshit. <laughs> But it was, I, had a, I felt really raw for the rest of the day uh, because I have visited my traumas and I have sat with little Carrie and, and adult Carrie and sometimes some of those traumas overlap and so you know maybe you're looking at one or two of them at a time. But never have I decided in one day to just fucking visit all of them. <laughs> so it was a raw day, but it was a really amazing experience. With that, I will shut up and I will play this song, and it is called Be Wonder.